channel. Hey, this is Vaishali Siddhapa. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to see all the concepts. So in today's class, I thought of starting with practical oriented questions. In the PO government, you have six practical oriented questions for class 12. The first question which I am starting, there is some reason why I am starting all of a sudden practical oriented question because budget said I was supposed to start this class but for the budget set, there is one practical oriented question. So I thought of, I will complete the practical oriented question all of which is really very easy and combining you will be getting three questions out of that you have to answer two questions. So finally you will get 10 marks for it and each question contains 5 marks. So let me start with budget set. I will keep it for the last because after that, all, you know, after exactly completing budget set, I will be starting the next topic. So the first question here, find the missing products in the following table. So you can see here the blank. You have to find out these all space, what exactly the numbers, what exactly the answer you are supposed to write there. If you are going to fill this, so you will get one mark each. You have five blanks, so for that you will be getting five marks. Isn't it easy one? So let me tell you how you are going to find out what exactly the missing concepts here. So first of all now, so I have came with the same table which you have here. So I will go with the same TP which is 0, 10, 24, 40. So you have blank here. How are you going to find out the blank? So the 40 and 16. So okay, 40 what you have, the after that 10 you have, it is 50. That's 40 plus 10. After consuming this, how much extra what he got? That is a 10. So 40 plus 10 is nothing but 50. Is it clear? So now you have to find out this plan. 50 plus 6. 50 plus 6 which is 56. 56. So now 56 plus 1 is nothing but 57. Is it clear? 0. So nothing you have here. So that means this is also 10. So okay. Keep it this way. So you got to know how you can find out. From this one the next MP what you have from that you have to keep adding it. Then you will get exact TP. So now this is the last one is 57 what you already written. So now how you will find out MP. So 0. You go with 0. This is also 0. Will All things starts with a 0. Now you have a blank here. What is a blank here? So when you have the first one, so you have to go with the same. So that is 10. That is same. If you don't have anything here, that means here, whatever number you will be having, that is the same number you are going to draw. Is it clear? So now, you already know how you are going to find out marginal utility. M T T U N minus T U N minus 1. Exactly the same formula here. Can you see? T P is equal to T P N minus T P N minus 1. Instead of U, you have P. That's it. U present represents utility. And P here, what you have that represents product. Missing products. Is it clear now? So now, let me find out this. That, before this, we don't have any number. So you're going to draw 10 only. So now, 24 minus 10. This is the formula. How are you going to take this? 24 minus 10 will be 14. So I'm going to write 14. Now, 40 minus 24. Excuse me. 24. 40 minus 24 is equal to 16. Clear? 50 minus 40 will be 10. 56 minus 50 is nothing but 6. 57 
six is nothing but one. From the second one, subtract the first one. So the same way now. You got this before this. Ten minus zero is nothing but ten. You got it. How I got the ten? Ten I have written. Fourteen I have written. Sixteen I have written. Here ten. Six. One. Can you see this? Yeah. This is the way. How you going to get MP? So now the last one is AP. So we we'll come to this here. To find out AP, AP is nothing but average product. This is the total product, marginal product, and average product. Now you have average product here. To find out the average product, the formula what you have: total product divided by Q. Q is nothing but here factor. This one. So now let me tell you how we are going to construct this. So for example, now the factor total. Is zero. Factor is also zero. Is zero. Can you see this? The next one now. TP is ten. Factor is one. It's nothing but ten. Is it clear? So next one. The total is twenty-four. Factor, which is Q, is two. Is twelve. Forty by three is nothing but thirteen point three three. Clear? Fifty by four. What is the answer? Fifteen by two. By four, twelve point five. Now the last one is fifty seven. Okay, sorry, fifty six. Fifty six by five. Fifty six by five is eleven point five. Eleven point five. The last one, which is fifty seven point five, is equal to nine point two. This is six. So this is the way. Sorry, this is nine point five. So this is the way how you are going to find out the actual values of it. So the average will be, to find out the average will be having a total product, total product divided by quantity usually. Otherwise, if you have any of the factors, this is the way how you will find out. To find out MP, MP to find out AP for both you need TP. So first you have to find out TP. So TP you already got to know how you are going to find out. So now. Fill these blanks, which is first one I got zero, which is already second one is ten, and the third one is twelve, thirteen point three three, twelve point five, eleven point two, and nine point five. So now we have filled all the blanks. The blanks were fifty, fifty six, and ten, three, and finally this. These are the blanks we have filled with the help of this formula. So when you are going to get in the exam, so you should know how to how you are going to find out. So thank you so much. I will be meeting in the next class with one more practical question. Thank you so much.